Buffalo Bills left tackle Deion Dawkins had something crazy to say on Vlad TV that's going viral right now. And Sauce Gardner responds, Woo, the Buffalo Bills versus New York Jets robbery just got even crazier. Dawkins had a lot of disrespectful remarks about the New York Jets defense. A lot of interesting things. And I want to share my reaction to what Dawkins had to say about the New York Jets. Sauce Gardner responded, and I want to hear Jets fans in the comment section right underneath this video respond. Don't forget to hit the like button. I'm going to play the clip. In case you get you guys did not check it out for yourself, this is Juicy. Listen to what Dawkins had to say about the New York Jets and his beef with Michael Clemens last year with the New York Jets. Listen in. You get into it with the Jets. Yeah. What happened? Weirdos being weird. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdos being weird. You know, I don't even want to get a man no credit. Talking about him, you know, but number 72. Michael Clements. Michael Clements. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch boy. Um, <laughs> bitch boy. You know, I'm going to just keep it a buck. I hate them. All of them, bro. They are awesome. Like, when it comes to sports, right, there's people that play the sport because they love the sport. And then there's people that play the sport just to try to be cool. I feel like they play the sport to try to be cool. Like, those are a bunch of dudes that just want to take pictures on Instagram. Like, that's whack. Like, I play this because I'll die by it. Like, but yeah, like, Clemens, look, I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. Because you know I want to. Let's go. See how I fix myself in the seat. <laughs> to tell you about your boy, man. You know, Qu look, Quentin Williams, solid. I respect the dude. Quentin Williams is valid. I like him. Uh, when Ty Bowles and was there, I respect him. Temple guy too. Couple guys. Even their, like, D-line coach, Ryan Davis, he was one of my teammates. Cool, I'm going to get them off the grid. And the rest of them, don't care. Don't like you. <laughs> but Clemens, maybe it's third quarter, maybe it's fourth, whatever it is. Hour back. So he goes on to talk about Clemens for the next four to five minutes. And I got to share my thoughts. Now, first and foremost, this is what Sauce Gardner had to say on Twitter in response. He going to say we try to be cool, but went on Vlad and don't have a shirt on with a thousand laughing emojis from Sauce Gardner. And then he also says, I play this game because I love it and it takes care of my family. It also gives me a platform to inspire the youth. I have no NFL beef with anybody. I didn't know that was a thing until I watched this video. Shout out to Sauce Gardner for responding because I need, I need some type of Jets player to respond to this absolute nonsense from Dawkins making believe that the Jets don't care. I mean, you were talking about Jets defense that absolutely is the kryptonite to the Buffalo Bills offense, might I add. Josh Allen absolutely absolutely is trash against the New York Jets defense. We split with them the past two years. And I don't know where this is coming from. Obviously, the Michael Clemens and Dawkins beef goes, you know, deep because last year they got into a little bit. But the fact that he had that, that much disrespect to say to the entire Jets defense and the entire Jets organization is very ridiculous to me. You talk about a guy who's shirtless talking about, I only care about the game of football. You go to Deion Dawkins' Instagram, he has like over 400 posts. So you're hypocritical there, bro. And this is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm really happy to hear our guy, Sauce Garter, defend the the New York Jets, and I'm curious to see what Michael Clemens got to say about this, because Michael Clemens, listen, he had an interesting season last year. He's a polarizing player amongst Jets fans. He obviously has a lot to say. A lot to say on the field and gets into some altercations. I feel like the Jets defensive coaching staff, they preach that all gas, no break mentality, and Michael Clemens really embodies that, Get in, gets into a lot of altercations there. But this is just ridiculous from Dawkins to say that this Jets team doesn't care about anything else besides winning. Because this, if there's one thing about the New York Jets as an organization that we all know, and NFL fans can agree, is that the defense is a built with a bunch of dogs that know how to play this game at a high level, and they absolutely get to the Buffalo Bills offense, and maybe they this is where it comes from. Yes, the Bills are the better organization. The Bills are the better team. They are four-time AFC East division champs in these last four weir years. I get all of that. But when it comes to the Jets versus the Buffalo Bills matchup-wise, there's no denying that the Jets defense gets the better of the Buffalo Bills offense in these last two years. Maybe that's where this is coming from. Absolutely ridiculous take by Dawkins. Let me know your thoughts and your reactions down below, Jets fans. Definitely curious to hear what you guys have to say. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.